Hey, what's going on guys? Back again with a T-Bone update on this. Got my new skid in, so I want to put that thing on and take a look at that. Uh, I kind of previewed that in another video I did, but uh, also I want to, I haven't fixed this at all yet because I kind of want to show people <laughs> kind of what I figured out. Obviously, uh, by looking at it and a couple people bringing it up to me as well, I, uh, I noticed these white spacers that I used we'll show you where they actually go instead of here which I used them for to fill that gap which again speaking of the gap the gap seems to be here for anybody that has the old style bumper oval which right now from Red Cat we can't even get the three style new one so right now this is what we're stuck with anyway so if you don't have the three style stock one or if you didn't get um, or if you break it I should say and you need the new one you're going to need to put this one on you're going to have a little bit of pressure here but I got a bumper that I requested originally which was a double bar setup for this thing which is kind of like my uh, arm of Big Rock so it had that that double bar setup so I really like that look anytime you're removing a bumper I like to have that uh, double bumper look I think my cat's gonna try to interrupt this she can't do much the uh, Anyway, the double bar look, I think for this, when you're taking away that bumper, it gives it a really good look in the front. So, about to get a chance to see it in person here and see what I like. So, I'm going to take this off, use the spacers the way they were meant to be used with the new setup, and then also do the skid plate. So, that's what we're going to do today. So, all right, I'm going to get started. This one's going to need some stuff off too, so I might as well remove these. I already got the one out. Two, three, four. Alright, um, I think I'm going to put this piece on real quick first because I got my server saver that pivots right here and I just want to kind of tighten all this back up again so I can flip this over and get the screws out the front. You know, same thing normally, you would have still have screws up here if you were doing this for the first time, but I need to do it this way for right now, so. I'm going to find, find my pack that has the screws for this. Actually, easier than I thought it was going to be. Now, I'm going to put these in with these guys. I mean, I'm, I'm literally not going to put these all the way down. I'm going to tighten them by hand. I'm just getting started. Just save me a little bit of time. That one especially you got to be careful with. I still got room on it, but that one's like into nothing. It's just the two pieces holding on to each other. Oops. Now this one... I'm not going to be able to reuse, and I think I don't think any of us are going to be able to reuse. I don't think they thought about that. Mine is actually the version one, so that screw might work for you. But for mine, I need this longer one back in here, which has got a round end, but I'll just deal with it. But it's the longer screw that's got to go through the service saver because there's no post there to grab it like there is on the version two. finish that one by hand you gotta remember what you're screwing into like this one's the center of the motor mount right here I mean it's only into plastic so you, you mean once you get it tight man let go don't go crazy and strip that thing out this one is literally in a connection piece so there's not much there so like I can keep going, but I'm going to stop there because just because I can I can even see the bend a little bit already happening, and it doesn't really need to be any tighter. Now this is my service saver one, which I feel like I stripped it out already. I might have done that before, but man. We'll see how it holds up. I'll keep an eye on that. I might need to pop that out and take this piece off and replace the piece up here that holds this. But again, that's that's a version one issue. It has nothing to do with the version two. You can still strip that piece out, but obviously there's no steering involved in it, so it's not as important. 
right now that's pretty important to me this the screw so I'll probably find a flat end one that's the same millimeter length as this now that I know that they didn't prep for it so but alright so we've got the skid on it's ready to roll it's gonna cover my motor protect the motor even though mine is tucked a little bit more it still could hit um, like I showed him before this is a motor that was in a version 1 and you can see where it was scraping out right there on the bottom and that was no different than what we're seeing right here so this is going to definitely take care of that protect that anybody that bottoms out on large rocks with this thing you're covered There's two of the four spacers that are going to go. Oh, damn it. They go in here. So, again, I apologize for not catching that on the first time through. And I have my other spacers still that I've saved. Again, because I caught this, I've just been waiting to do it on video and show the fix. So. That just gives, it, I guess, a tighter fit, keeps that from slipping around. I mean, it makes much more sense, but um, either way, man, I mean, we live and learn. All right, so let me get my other bumper going. I just wanted to check to make sure it was the same piece here, so I didn't see if I had to take this off or not. It looks like it is the exact same piece, so I'm not going to pop this on but it literally just connects to the two pieces here. So you'll have this skid off. You'll have to actually take this skid off to access that, which is what I was about to have to do and kick myself in the butt for putting that on, but I didn't, so it worked out. So this is the same piece. I'm gonna put that back with that. Screws are gonna be the same. I've already got them out. I'm just gonna put that with that as a full set. I, you know, I waited to, to bash this thing really to test it, so I haven't even driven it other than just uh, around the parking lot and things never never bashed it so here's the other setup I'm excited to get this thing on man I'm, I'm really hoping this is the look I wanted oh you know what I will need the other screws out of here though for the bar in the front but I will not need the diff screws so I'm gonna put these in a while again I'm gonna use the drill but I'm not gonna tighten these things all the way down Alright, nice and tight by hand. Now we connect the front piece again. So now see this one fits a little bit better. I guess we push this up to here. And those four connect there. So let's see what we got in the package. <coughs> using the nuts so you give us four or two it gives us two nuts so I'm guessing hmm. guess the two nuts for that and the other ones don't need nuts maybe we'll see we'll figure it out right this time though so we ain't getting off this video until we make sure it's right three of those those are going to be the ones for the bottom piece here so I know I don't need them it's because there's three of them it makes sense of what that is and then of course putting it with this one I only need the two actually I do need the third one so that leaves these two these are the two screws that go in to hold that now I question what the hell holds these on T-Bone <sighs> so I'm going to be on the phone with them trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing here
So they have not given me any screws to attach these. So this this will be interesting. I'm wondering if they're all coming out like that. I mean, this is all like this is all new. So apparently, me being the first one to get these, I'm getting screwed because they're not right. So I'm gonna to to call them. They're gonna fix it. They're gonna make it right on their end. And I only got two weeks to get a head start on this stuff. So I mean, uh, freaking not fun. Not happy right now. But I'll figure it out for mine and at least get the screw size. So you got three millimeter and a four millimeter. Four millimeter is too big unless actually no, it's not right there, so goodness. So I mean, unless I want my screw to stick out past that, the screws that came with it aren't right. Something's not right. It's these ones right here, which they've given, they've given me one of. They gave me one of them. It's right here. This is the one that you're going to need. Yep, that's it right there. Oh my goodness. They kill me. I don't have the flat ones, but I do have the button head ones, so I am going to put them through. Just because I want to get this thing going, man, and like, I'm not happy at all right now, but it is what it is. And it does look like, guys, you're going to want to do, <laughs> you're going to want to do this before you attach the bottom. I mean, uh, I might be disassembling this, but we'll see what kind of, what kind of grip I can get in there. I'm going to use these to put through here to the right size, which they're not. Which ones is it? It's these. I'm going to, I, think, I think I have some 3mm that I'm going to replace these with because, again, it doesn't seem like any of the hardware is right that they sent me. So Again, it doesn't seem like they any of the hardware they sent me is right, so I'm not going to take any chances. I'm just going to replace these with button heads because I think it's going to look a little bit better in the front. Use the same nuts that they provided. Alright, so it is in. And looking pretty good. So we're going to pop a body on and see what it looks like with the body on it, you know, ready to go out and bash. So it can't, it's kind of hard to see it until I angle it better, but it's just got that double, and I can lower my mount a little bit I have it up a little bit so my my body doesn't always scrape right on where the old chassis was but now that you know this is the one I got a little bit more play here I can actually lower this body down probably one notch which I probably will do but that'll give it a more of a tougher look in the front but this is the better bumper in my opinion this is the one I wanted uh, get it look at it with the tires on here in a few and just kind of give it a finished look but yeah, this is this is look I was definitely going for. All right, well here we have it. I want to put the light on. But I'll put the light on in a minute. I don't know if the light's going to be better or not. It looked like it was worse a minute ago. Had too much reflection, but and these are the IMX tires. I wouldn't recommend these for anybody running like a stock blackout or even the stock motor in a blackout. But I do have customers running the 2600 KV 4S motor, you know, like the uh, the Ghoul RC, things like that. Now granted, if you're gearing it down, that 4S can handle that 2600, can handle these tires. But you're not going to upgear it, you don't want to go for speed, things like that. And I still don't feel that that's probably the best motor you would want. 
but you start putting yourself like a, a 60, 65, 70 can motor in here. There's a 36, 70 can that Leopard makes, as well as a couple other. Something like that's going to be perfect for these tires. It's just a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger, meatier. And when you tape them, they're going to, you know, it's just like I said, they're going to, you're going to want the extra torque for this truck. So even for what I'm running, these tires aren't going to work out. But for the, I brought these in for the uh, Landslide XTE. And they're freaking perfect for that but right now on this it, you know they look badass they look badass on anything i put them on they even look good on the be 6s just a little bit smaller if you're if you're looking for a you know a tighter um low torque type motor uh tire for those it might work out good and of course i got my regular tires on this end but um those are the ones i run right now which again are great for asphalt low profile but that bumper to me that bumper just sets it off a little bit more than the other ones did or the other one I should say did that came out like this with the front I mean this is the one I asked for this is what we got now I'm getting one of these for the blackout as well done and that ridiculous one that they made for the MT-10E which was this style which shouldn't have been because with this style it's for replacing a bumper not for putting in front of a bumper that's already there especially with LED lights so I have the front skid coming for the XT, uh, MT-10E which will you know remove that setup they have on there so again uh, you know good things to come for these bumpers from T-Bone for Red Cat so if you have more than one vehicle of course I just might have addressed one another one for you but regardless uh, they're, they're much much better looking like that when you remove the bumper that's pretty much all i got guys um just wanted to show you the new bumper style that they got and then as well as the skid plate for the center both are available on the website so this will be available as a bundle with the whole package with the skid plate again skid plate you got to contact me for but other than that man if you guys have any questions or anything hit me up and drop a like if you know the video was helpful to you and i'll keep doing what i do Thanks for watching, guys.